Hi, I hope you're all well and happy. I hope that the situation globally right now isn't too bad for you. Uh, I'm sending prayers, thoughts, spells, meditations out every day for those who are struck hard by this. Um, God, I love that word. I've, I have plans of coming back to do videos much more often um, with Magical Hearth. It's been such a weird year since my the birth of my granddaughter. A year. It's been a year. Um, life has been weird and now this stuff's just been strange, you know. So at this point in time I do the best I can to keep up with what I'm doing um, and I'll bring you the best that I, you know, the best vids and stuff that I can. Uh, and I also want to, I'm going to be in uh, quite often dropping off a four or five minute uh, quick run through the cards or the sand or runes or spirit writing, whatever tool I happen to be using that day. But I'm going to drop off a, it's going to be more a feel for the few days surrounding that date and see what's in the air, things like that. So uh, I thought about hearth health but no one can say that with a straight face <laughs> so if you guys have an idea of what we could call the few minutes that's just going to be sort of a quick look at the next few days then throw them in the comments below <laughs> i'm happy to take a look at them because hearth health is awesome but not sayable <laughs> not sayable uh, okay, so very quickly for this video, uh, I've had a couple of questions in email, and one was from uh, a lady named Peggy. She said I could say her name, and she was telling me that although she absolutely adores her Book of Shadows, and yes, you really need to love your book. You need to vibe with it. You need to connect with it. You need to feel in alignment with it because it's an extension of your psyche, of your intellect, of your heart. Your magical self is part of that book. So she was saying that uh, she loves filling her book with various things, but there are some things that either A, she hasn't decided she wants in her book of shadows yet, or B, doesn't want them in the book of shadows, but it's still a pagan piece of information that she wants to keep. So, uh, And then the other question was, uh, what do we do? you know with our with our other stuff our extra stuff so both questions were very similar <clears throat> and uh, I'm really glad somebody asked it now it's been a I think a couple years since I did a video on this I believe over on Emerald Gypsy Arts I can't remember if it's on this channel or not but this is my pagan desk journal it's a few years old I haven't put as much into it as I've wanted to lately because I've been working on some other things that are not pagan related or um, celestially related. Uh, but this book, I divided off a portion of the back with a separator so that I have super private pages back here. <clears throat> That's a separate part. And then the rest of the book is jottings, stuff that I've, um, recipes and so on, things that I want to remember stuff I want in a pagan journal but not in my shadows not in my shadows this is uh, informal it's I paste pictures in there that I want to work on later pictures that I just love uh, information drawings I doodle and so on in here <coughs> I'm good um, yeah so this book is my everything other than my book of shadows pagan book and it's I just call it my pagan journal and that's what it is and this is the answer to if you are the type of person one I mean the other type is putting everything in their shadows and that's awesome I cut there are days I wish I could do that but um, when I just want to jot down the name of a herb I want to look up or something then or a book I want to take a look at I put it in here it's like a day book for my pagan stuff. So uh, this to me is the answer 
for when you have a shadows where you don't put absolutely everything in, where it's more of an informational sort of thing to pass down. I mean, my granddaughter doesn't need to know that I had an appointment with the herbologist at four o'clock on Thursday, you know, March 10th. Like it's, it's, um, it's that kind of book. It's a remind me, it's a remember, it's, you know, for sayings that I see on Facebook, things like that until I can sort them into, this is crazy me. This book right here is my brain book. This is the book I do all my personal writing in. Below that is my current um, sort of Hobonichi kind of thing, a day book, writing about my day, telling about what happened at the house, things like that. So that's, you know, that's the, the, my current day book. And then there's numerous journals, including my book of shadows up here and a book of spiritual sayings right there. So I sort them into a bunch of different areas, but that's me. I love working out of many different journals. Some people just love one. As a matter of fact, there's to test that theory now and then or to experiment with that on your own. There's uh, someone on YouTube that started what's called a One Book July. Her name's Romani's Realm and she started a One Book July and that is one book, one kind of pen, one month. The month of July. That's all that whoever joins her in that. It's kind of like Inktober for drawing in October stuff. Whoever joins her in the One Book July, you use one book, one kind of pen, or one color of pen in one month. That's all. You're restricted by that. And it's fun to watch how that really opens people up to their creative side and so on. So check it out if you're interested. Um, this is my, my pagan, my, 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 my pagan desk journal. A pagan is the right word for me. Uh, I'm eclectic. I'm, I'm fanciful. I'm, you know, I'm very eclectic. But this is all about pagan stuff for me. This is my pagan, my pagan day book. There we go. That's what it's called. So, uh, I just wanted to check in. Um, wish you all a blessed Beltane. It's a pretty big day in our our neck of the woods, our path in life. Um, for those in the southern hemisphere, it's about ushering in fall, not spring. Um, but I wish you all the blessings of the season. I hope you stay safe and I hope you'll join me for some frequent videos on here. It's time to, it's time to um, reward those wonderful, lovely people out there, you, who have stuck with me and are still actually watching these videos. So take care. Um, you know, any questions, put it in the comments below. They've taken away the option of going to different people's, like you used to be able to click on the three dots and go to somebody's site. I don't know why they took that away. It's unfortunate because you can't find everybody's site when you're in a, when you read comments or whatever. So, um, blessings to you all. Have a wonderful, safe weekend. Uh, take care. Mm -hmm.